solving radical equations algebraically and graphically. Solve algebraically and confirm graphically. Basically, I'm going to solve this equation using algebra, and then I'm going to pull out my calculator and show you how to solve it graphically. So let's solve it using algebra. Now anytime I have a square root, I need to get rid of that. So that means I'm going to square both sides of the equation. Now when I square a square root, they cancel each other. So I end up with x plus 5 equals 3 squared, which is 9. I'm going to solve for x, so I'm going to subtract 5 from both sides of the equation. So I get x to equal 4. But now I always have to check my answer because this might not truly be a solution to this equation. So let's check it. I'm going to write the original equation, the square root of x plus 5 equals 3. I'm going to put 4 in for x. So I'm going to have the square root of 4 plus 5. And we're hoping it equals 3. We're not sure yet. Well, 4 plus 5 is 9, and that indeed gives me 3. So let me show you how to do this on your calculator. So let's solve it using the calculator. I'm going to go into my y equals. Now the left side of the equation will be my y1. The right side of the equation will be my y2. And wherever the intersect at will be my solution. So I'm going to do second square root x plus 5, end of parentheses, enter. And my other side is 3. So now I'm going to graph it. And I can see they intersect right in here. Now let's have a zoom in on that. So I'm going to zoom in probably, I'm going to make my x minimum negative 1 and my y minimum negative 1. So I'm going to go to my window, make my x minimum negative 1, my y minimum negative 1. You don't necessarily have to do this, but I do want a better picture of what I'm going to be intersecting. All right, I can definitely see it here. So now I'm going to do second calc. I want to find where they intersect at. So I hit enter. Now I'm going to move it over just to make sure it's on one of the curves. Okay. I'm going to hit enter and it for sure popped to the second curve. So I hit enter and enter again. And that's where my intersection point is. Um, and when we solved it, we got x to equal 4. So we must have done it right. Solve algebraically and confirm graphically. So what I'm going to do is solve this equation using algebra. Then I'm going to take out my calculator and show you how we can solve it using the calculator and the graphing function. So first we're going to solve it using algebra. Now when I have a square root that means I need to square both sides. Now I'm squaring because a square gets rid of the square root. Kind of sounds funny but that's what happens. So we'll have 2x plus 5 on the left side. But now on the right side I'm squaring this. So that means x plus 1 times x plus 1. Now we need to do our handy dandy FOIL, which will give me x squared plus 1x plus 1x plus 1. I still have 2x plus 5 on the left side. Um, I'm just going to keep bringing it down as I simplify the right side. So when I simplify over here, I'll have x squared plus 2x plus 1. Now I want it equal to 0. Now, I could subtract x squared and bring it to the left side, but I hate having negative x squareds, and if I have to factor it, ugh. So, I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides of the equation and get my 0 on the left side, because that will keep this guy a positive. So, when I add down, I get 5 equals x squared 2x minus 2x is 0 plus 1. Now I'm going to subtract 5 from both sides of the equation. So I get 0 equals x squared minus 4. Now some of you like to see it like this. x squared minus 4, e 4 equals 0. Doesn't matter. Now my next step is to factor it because I need to know what my solutions are going to be. So when I factor it, I get x minus 2 times x plus 2 equals 0. I make both of these equal to 0, so x minus 2 equals 0, x plus 2 equals 0. So my two solutions are x equals 2 and x equals negative 2. 
Well, maybe. Remember, we have to put these back into the original equation to make sure that they're both um, solutions. Either both of them can be, one of them is, or neither. So let's make sure. So I'm going to write my original equation, the square root of 2x plus 5 equals x plus 1. So I'm going to put x equals 2 into this first one and see if it works. So I'm going to have the square root of 2 times 2 plus 5 and that should equal 2 plus 1. Well, this is going to be 4 plus 5, and that hopefully will equal 3. Well, this is the square root of 9, and indeed, the square root of 9 equals 3. So for sure, this is one of my solutions. Now we have to check the other one. So to check the other one, we're going to see if x equals negative 2 is also a solution. So I'm going to write my original equation again. 2x plus 5, the square root of 2x plus 5, equals x plus 1. Now I'm going to put negative 2 in for my x, and that should equal negative 2 plus 1. Um, I'm going to have the square root of negative 4 plus 5, and hopefully that'll equal negative 1. Well, I, only ha I don't have to solve it because I know a square root will never equal a negative 1, but let's keep going. So that's the square root of 1. Does that equal negative 1? Nope. So I know, and so that means my only solution is x equals 2. So let's solve the equation using our calculator. So first we're going to go into y equals. In y1, we're going to put the left side of the equation, y2, the right side of the equation, and wherever they intersect at is going to be our solution. So. We're going to have the square root of 2x plus 5, end parentheses, enter, equals uh, x plus 1. And now I'm going to graph it. I'm going to see where they intersect at. Okay. It looks like it intersects right here. So once again, I'm going to zoom in. So I'm going to change my window. I'm going to change it to... Uh, y negative 1 and x negative 1 again. So going to my window, negative 1 for my x minimum, negative 1 for my x, my y minimum. You don't have to do it, but I think it gives you a better picture of where the intersection is at. Yep, and there it is right there. So to get that point, I'm going to do second calc, go down to intersect, hit enter. Now there's my first curve, my second curve, and now enter. And it for sure shows me that my intersection is at x equals 2, and that's what we got. Remember, we had two solutions, x equals 2 and x equals negative 2, and we proved algebraically that x equals 2 is our only solution. This is the end of part 1. Make sure that you check out part 2.